software development in general, back-end full-stack development, cybersecurity, AI and data science, data science related, of course, to LLM. And, data uh, engineering. Exactly. Um, and cloud and DevOps is still on demand. Also, this will be the case in 2026. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Raul and I'm here today with my colleague and partner Tamo. Today we want to talk about the job market, the tech market in 2026, also reflect a little bit upon 2025 and see what are the future um, perspectives in 2026, what kind of profiles are needed and what skills are on demand. Tamo. We have seen um, a changing market um, in 2025, um, new tools, new skills were on demand. Um, we have seen up and downs um, still. Can you shed a bit more light on what happened actually in 2025 and what's the situation in 2026, please? Yeah, maybe we go back a few more years. Um, we start in 2021, 2022, Globally, IT was booming, IT in Germany was booming, uh, but that doesn't mean a lot of international people come here to Germany, and that kept on ongoing for the last year. So we could see that the number of international tech and IT talent coming to Germany was increasing year after year. We saw a bit of a slowdown now in 2025, and that's uh, mainly due to the fact that the German economy was not doing well for the last, I would say, three years in total. What we see now is the forecast for 2026 is a lot better. So we see that the German economy is expected to grow again by around 1%, depending on the numbers you look at. It might not look a lot, but you will see for a economy like Germany, this is quite decent. And also for the year 2027, we see that this growth is um, expected to be uh, bigger. I mean, this is something for Germany, about 1% uh, of growth is expected, also uh, the European market is uh, growing, but still let us analyze a little bit more the difference between talent shortage and people facing problems landing a job, which is crucial to understand. Um, what in your point of view are the factors um, that have changed the market, uh, especially I would say last year actually. And so on the one hand we have this talent shortage in, in Germany and in Europe, so we have a massive lack of talent in different fields, tech and IT is one of them, also in nursing and so on. Um, we still have numbers that there are around 100,000 open positions in tech and IT in Germany. But on the other hand, we saw that hiring slowed down in the last year, in 2025, and um, it slowed down quite drastically for s a lot of professions, um, which is contradictory to the talent shortage narrative which you see. And why this is, is mainly because the economic uh, economy slowed down, that means Companies are holding off investments, they don't invest into new stuff, they're waiting to hire new people and so on. And then we had this uh, second mega trend hitting in, which is AI, um, where we could see that this changed the demand of the market drastically a lot of, um, for a lot of professions. That means as well that you could observe that what we reflected on um, profiles like tech project managers, UX, uh, UI developers, designers in the past, 2023, maybe even 2024, there was a demand for it. In 2025, we have seen this was not the case anymore. Mm. So profiles changed, profiles maybe to somehow, I don't want to say disappeared, but just were not on... Uh, uh, on such a high demand. At the same time, new tools, new skills were um, on demand, um, uh, talking about AI. Um, and that means that with the profile and relevant skills such as um, uh, software development in general, back-end full-stack development, mm -hmm. cybersecurity, AI and data science, data science related, of course, to LLM. And, data engineering. Uh, exactly. Um, and cloud and DevOps 
is still on demand. Also, this will be the case in 2026. And it will um, grow even further. So if we look at the numbers again, the German economy will grow again. This will lead to more jobs. And we see that the IT industry all over Europe is expected to grow by around 4% year after year until 2029, um, which will also lead to more IT people needed in Europe. But, and here's the big but, what is changing um, if we look at what companies are looking for? Companies are now looking for more experienced people and we see that um, with a lot of university graduates um, which are coming to Europe and Germany and studying and then have troubles finding a job and this is due to the fact that also because of AI and economic slowdown, companies are not hiring junior developers or junior talent that much. This is one fact and what we can see at least in Germany in the last years, the numbers of um, students and graduates in tech and IT um, studies grew extensively. So we have a lot of people coming here studying and then want to get into the job market here on a junior level. And those people have a hard time at the moment finding jobs, especially if they don't speak German. So, so that means for you, if you are abroad, um, outside of Europe, outside of Germany, and you are interested to uh, get a job in Germany or Europe as a uh, developer or in the IT industry, that means you need and should have at least five years of uh, work experience, right? Juniors need to strategize somehow differently. I think this is an interesting um, observation that we need to look carefully also on the development in the next year because this is uh, something that will affect all of us uh, somehow so this is something for the juniors if you are a senior then you can um, definitely find your way if you have the right profile into the european and german job market and where do you gonna end up um, in Germany at least um, and this is the case for most of the uh, European markets is the tech hubs are in the bigger cities that means in Germany you have Berlin, Munich, uh, then comes Hamburg, Frankfurt and Stuttgart I would say that are the big five and then you have also uh, what makes Germany pretty special because it's decentralized opportunities in smaller cities with 100, 200, 300,000 people um, or maybe also more such as Dresden or Leipzig but also Hannover, Braunschweig, um, Freiburg are all places where Fajik fellows are ended up and uh, where also opportunities are and I'm pretty sure most of you have never heard about these places but yes the big five, uh, the big five cities are the ones where you're most likely going to end up. Well, coming back to one thing, learning German, I said that for university graduates, it's absolutely needed that you need to speak German at least on a B1, B1 or B2 level. I mean, that means able to be uh, able to do interviews in German and speak German fluently, quite fluently. Um, for more experienced stuff, that is not the case. So as Raul said, if you have five years, if you work as a Java, full stack backend developer, if you work as a data engineer, then it is perfectly fine if you start with English, you will be able to find an English speaking job in Germany. But obviously we advise you to learn German once you're here, just you know, to integrate, to have, increase your long-term opportunities as well. To sum this up, I think for 2026 and especially also for 2027, for the next two years, the forecast looks more posi positive for tech and IT people. You will see that there will be more jobs coming up. This will take a few months. I expect this or we expect this to happen by, I would say, the second half of 2026. And um, what you need is you need to be prepared. It's going to be competitive. So... If you want to do that, you need to strategize your job hunt right. Obviously, you need to know how to target yourself towards the German market, write a CV, how to apply right, and so on and so forth. And yeah. And don't forget, since the market is changing, you need to develop yourself further. Huh? So catch up with the latest trends. 
And it uh, doesn't matter if you're a full stack developer or a data engineer, you need to be up to date with the uh, um, latest uh, tech stack. And that is very, very important that you um, further develop yourself um, as the market is doing it as well. Um, one thing maybe we didn't talk about is visa requirements. Still, Germany has one of the most liberal visa um, systems in the world, especially for tech and IT people. If you um, want to come here, what you need is a job offer, then you can apply for your blue card. That's pretty straightforward. Long-term um, perspective is there, so after three years you can apply your, for your PR and so on and so forth. Watch our other videos for, videos for that as well. If you need help on your journey, get in touch with us. We're going to help you strategize your job hunt to Germany and um, getting you an offer. See you soon. Bye-bye. See you in Germany. Take care. Bye.